No, I have I have like the fading sky selected, so it's more going to white. But I also like this one. Hey, and what's happening, guys? I'm glad you're watching a brand new video on Alex's channel. And today I'm gonna show you guys how you can do a gradient effect in Illustrator. Oh no, like if you want to have like air or like your sky, it isn't like one single blue but you can choose like a nice gradient and that looks much more better so that's what i'm going to show you guys in this one i hope you like it so let's jump right into it so once you're in illustrator i want you to open like always a new file this can just be like random shit if you want to i'm just going to make like a nice triangle or uh, triangle what the i'm just gonna make like a nice looking um rectangle tool i'm gonna choose like a nice bluish color so like this one i'm gonna drag it all over my screen actually all, all over my project what you want to do is you want to click on this um icon it's your gradient tool and the shortcut is uh, your letter letter g on your keyboard after that you can choose your colors actually but i'm gonna show you guys if it works already no it doesn't because you need to change something in your settings you want to look for your gradient icon on your right side of your screen actually you just want to search for your gradient tool because you can you can take this thing away and you can put it somewhere else you need your gradient tool you need to put your your settings on CMYK I can make like a fading sky like this you also need you can also change your colors if you want you can choose your colors you need to check your uh, if your settings are right like this like your RGB or your CMYK uh, I prefer to work with my CMYK um, because I like to print my sometimes on, on like in school I need to print my work so CM you need to take CMYK for that make sure you have CMYK selected after that you can choose like I want like nice bluish color and I want it to fade like into red or something nice red I'm, I'm gonna search for a nice red I like this one already um, but now I have I have like the fading sky selected so it's more going to white but I also like this one I'm gonna select white and black uh, I'm gonna click on this one I'm gonna select my CMYK is still select and I'm gonna choose my bluish again and I'm gonna select my red again. So now you have your gradient, but you can also choose like, I want more blue than red. So you can drag your blue icon to the left and you have more blue than red. So if you want, you want to have like a flag, you can make it like this. You can also have your key mark in the center of, or more like to the blue side or more like the red side. It's how you choose, you, you can play around with it if you want to. Um, you can also play with your transparency. I mostly have it on 100. You have like, then you can have like a nice background on it. So you can also do this if you have like made your own path. So I'm gonna make a path real quickly like this. As you can see, I still have my red and my blue. I can like do it like this, like more red on, on the bottom, more red on, on top red on the right and blue on the left you can choose if you have like if you make you have like a bad like a bad transition from blue to red but, but if you swipe it across like your whole path you have like a nice a nice gradient yeah I, I like this much better like than the, than the past one it's just how you want to make it um, you don't need to choose this these colors but yeah it's what you one you can also oh th this is too much red that wasn't my like this now we have a nice transition i think this is a nice transition yeah something like this so yeah that's that's it so that was the video it was the last one for today i hope you enjoyed make sure to leave a like comment down below subscribe on alex's channel but also subscribe on my channel links will be in the description and i will see you next time or next week next video or something like that peace I can't even explain. I'm so freaking happy. This is like. So I'm here with Bjorn today. I'm gonna go to the uh, like this Belgian Dutch YouTube. This is the second update, and I declined respectfully. Like, dude, reacting to small videos. I'm awesome that you guys want to do this new video, and this is not gonna be a part tutorial as usual. It's Tuesday, which means a new video for you guys. Alex, what do we need to do to join or participate in the giveaway, and how are you gonna pick the winner?